Hey friends, thanks so much for joining me today. I have a really cool thing here for us. I have some advice for you students from a former Green Beret paralegal, and he's done a whole lot of other stuff. A really brilliant man. Go ahead and give a listen to John Moore and some others. Give advice on what they would recommend students do for a successful future. Next caller is Trevor in Iowa. Good morning, Trevor. Good morning. I have a couple uh, questions for you, John, and for Jeff, and then for your audience, too. And I, uh, look, to give you a little background, I'm an industrial tech teacher. I teach high school and middle school in a small rural town in Iowa. And uh, I have a YouTube channel where I teach kids how to do things when they're gone or if they're sick for some reason. And then I started doing a uh, little segment called Words for the Wise, where I give students a little bit of advice or just some tips on life in general. And so I've gained a lot from listening to your show, John, and I was wondering what advice you could give, and you also, Jeff, and also your audience, what advice you would give to my students if you were to give them a piece of advice going into this coming school year and then just in life in general. Okay, well, I'll start and we'll have some follow-up by Jeff. Um, the, the building block to a happy, fun, productive, successful life, whether you want to be an automobile mechanic, a, uh, a bus driver, a, a doctor, a lawyer, a scientist, the, the building blocks are the following two things, language skills and mathematics skills. That's, that's the, the two skills necessary to be successful in any chosen field that a person wants to be successful in. But let's say you, your, your goal is to be a truck driver, like John from Tennessee. Obviously, he doesn't need to have advanced mathematics skills. He has to have minimal mathematics skills, language skills, minimal, on one hand. On the other, to have a full life and a, a life that's enjoyable, language skills will help him in that regard. And the mathematics skills will help him also just in life in general when it comes to dealing with uh, financial matters. Uh, truck drivers make a, a substantial salary these days uh, to the point where they can and should be involved in, in uh, investments because of the, uh, the money they're earning. Uh, so that's my advice to any youngsters. Now, uh, just as an example of past changing world, Trevor, the, the college degree I got did not exist when I was in high school. It didn't exist when I was in high school to become a paralegal. It's a fast-changing world. Now, we're going back half a century. It was fast-changing even back then. Jeff, your follow-up, sir. Yeah, it's a fast-changing world. Um, I don't have anything to add. Okay. Well, maybe we'll have a caller that will. And, uh, Trevor, uh, this is good. I'm, I'm glad you're... You're reaching out to your students to help them be successful with your YouTube channel and, and other students nationwide. And if any other if any other callers, listeners want to call in with our tips for high school students to be successful in life, we'll certainly take those calls at 512-248-8252. Trevor, thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all you do, John. I uh, was just thinking uh, yesterday all that I have gained from listening to the John Moore show and it's uh the list is not a short one so it's a it's a really good service you're doing I'm, and I'm I really pretty sure I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm the only radio talk show host that makes recommendations on what kind of socks to wear <laughs> yeah yeah I think so <laughs> marina wool socks Trevor thank you sir we appreciate it thank you our, our, we don't have another caller on hold. The call number is 512-248-8252. Uh, Kyle in Montana first. Good morning, Kyle. <clears throat> morning, gentlemen. Good morning, gentlemen. Um, I had a, a couple of thoughts, too, for the teacher that called in. Uh, I'll tell you, you want to have a good understanding of computers and how they work because you need that for almost anything, but big but here 
if you can at all learn some kind of a trade, like being a nurse, an uh, auto mechanic, an uh, electrician, a carpenter, know how to build a plumber, you are in this new society coming up. Those skills are disappearing so fast. And uh, I right now have three uh, kids right now that are all, we're all homeschooled. They all learned a trade. One's a dental assistant, one's an RN, and one's a uh, foreman of a huge construction company, all making close to $100,000 a year. So you don't think, uh, I've got friends of mine that had their kids that are all in these computer jobs and stuff, and they're lucky if they're making $36,000 a year. If you get up into the high end of the computer things, you can do okay. But the the reality of trades and people that have common sense and that can work with their hands um, and and know how to how to do things uh, that's going to become the extreme uh, demand in my opinion. Go ahead, Leon. Yeah, real quick, uh, Kyle is absolutely right. You know, the criteria of having functional vocational people is, is incredible right now because you know I even have that same criteria at our front gate when people show up. They say, hey. I'm going to come to your compound, right? Great. What skills do you have? If I hear medical, you know, even veterinarian, because they do surgery on animals the same way. So across the board, carpentry, electrician, plumbing, gardeners, the whole gamut. We don't care about lawyers. Debate will not be an issue then because you're trying to keep people alive. You want to have sanitary issues. And so he is so accurate about that. Anyone who, those are the skills we need, only need to focus on now and IT stuff will not be an issue. It'll all be AI, and they're not going to be wasting time with, you know, individual kids anymore um, and young people. And then the other thing. Tuesday morning roundtable this morning consists of myself, Leon Green, former U.S. Navy officer, Jeff Nyquist, his website, jrnyquist.blog, his books for sale at amazon.com. And our next caller is Dave in Texas. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, guys. I had a comment concerning the what they should be teaching kids in high school. Okay. My opinion is you need to teach uh, these youngsters critical thinking. I didn't really start getting into critical thinking until I got into college and engineering classes and statistics. But once you get into the sciences and realize how things work, uh, you don't get bamboozled as, as much as you uh, would if you were not aware of the way things are put together, how science works, of course, if they're teaching real science now, nowadays, how people are fooled with statistics. But overall, it's uh, critical thinking. So thank you so much to the John Moore Show, all his audience and the people that called in. Thank you to John Moore. Thank you to Jeff Nyquist and Leon Green for their advice to our students. Thank you so much for watching the video, folks. Remember, work hard because hard work is its own reward.